My name is Kristin Folsland Olsen. I am 40 years old and I've been living in Lofoten for 21 years. I work as an outdoor photographer and writer. I'm in the middle of a big transformation right now. So I used to be quite uh, hectic. But now I'm realizing that I need to slow down. I did a lot of um, uh, expeditions, like when I was a little younger. Uh, did a lot of ski expeditions. I crossed Spitsbergen on skis, I crossed Greenland, spent 80 days on skis on Baffin Island. I skied on South Georgia, climbed Kilimanjaro, skied in Kyrgyzstan. You don't lose focus from a TV or telephones or anything. You are in the present moment. You are uh, in your body, you are with your friends, you are in the nature. And it's quite um, dramatic and harsh nature. So you have to be also re really precautious. Um, so then, yeah, just being that focused in a moment, that's probably the most precious gift I, I got from those trips. It's impossible not to be present. Like you're kind of, you're forced to be present. And when you are present, then it fi feels like uh, uh, the days and your life just expands even more. It's a, like a vibrant feeling. I was 25 when we crossed uh, Spitsbergen and after that month that was 30 days of skiing from the south to the north of the island and it felt like it's the best thing I've ever done so I wanted more like I got hungry <laughs> I moved to Lofoten to start an outdoor school it's called Lofoten Folkehøyskole uh, I was 19 years old and I uh, it was the first time I moved away from home and it was a fantastic year where we, we did all the fun stuff that Lofoten has to offer. Like we were sailing, we were skiing, we were rock climbing and hiking mountains, sleeping out in the tent, uh, drinking beer <laughs> with our friends and dancing. Uh, and it was just um, that first meeting with Lofoten really, wow, took me off guard. And, and I didn't know that a place like this could exist. The plan was to stay one year and that's now 21 years ago. <laughs> Photography is, is really a big passion for me and like it's also a motivation for going out. Um, when I go skiing with my friends, like I probably am, uh, I have uh, I'm damaged a little bit in my head because oh, you see a beautiful moment and you just, oh, I, want, I want that moment uh, to capture it. And I, what I like most about photography is um, to when I can capture something real. So I'm not so much like uh, building scenes or doing commercials like that. I like to see when, when magic happens and then capture it. What I've been busy with lately is like the ver word vibration. I think that's a good word because uh, vibration is like it's it's what resonates with you, like your heart, your soul, your body, your thoughts. And like if you can get that vibration flowing. Yeah, nature means a lot to me. Um, it is where I can charge my batteries and it's where I'm having most fun and um, it, where I feel most alive. It has this big range from the really calm, p 
peaceful side to those really uh, ecstatic, euphoric uh, feelings. So it has everything. I wanted to go to all the mountain peaks. I had to climb, a bike, swim, like I wanted to do everything at the same time and I, I couldn't really decide how, uh, where to go and what to do because there were so many possibilities. So I think I'm changing more into like uh, seeing the place the closest to me. Like I have the nature like one meter when I step outside my, my door, I can pick blueberries. And it's like, wow. It really feels like a privilege and I'm realizing it more and more. And it's, it's literally one meter from my doorstep. And then it's out in, in, in this fantastic nature world. And there's so many people living around the globe in big cities that never get to see the ocean or never get to, to walk here between the trees. And I can be out here and, and, and hug the trees and uh, kiss the ground and, uh, and he, hear the birds sing. It's fantastic. Um, do you do uh, that uh, sometimes, hug a tree? Yes, I love hugging trees. <laughs> So, um, are you spiritual in a way, or is it uh, just a thing that you uh, don't find that spiritual? It's more about the vibration uh, you talked about and to feel them? Or I think pro uh, probably vibration and spirit spirituality. <laughs> I cannot say the word. How do you say that spirituality? word? Spirituality. Spirituality. I think spirituality and vibration is kind of the same thing because I, I think, uh, again, it's the something about the power of the nature. It's, um, it has its own value and its own uh, worth, its own life and yeah, its own vibration and we are all part of it. So we are nature and I can really feel it. <laughs> And then I started seeing the small things in a different way, uh, seeing the, the insects and the birds. And, um, and it's probably also making me more peaceful in general, when you realize you don't have to, to force anything or you don't have to hurry up. And of course, it's nice to be on top of a mountain, but it's also quite nice to decide not to go and like to, to stay more, more, to stay lower and see what can you find here. And, and then I've started thinking about, wow, what, what did I, why did I run so much? Like what, I have missed so many of these small things. So maybe, but maybe it's good. Like now I have, uh, I've done the adrenaline part and now I can uh, calm down and uh, go for the details. <laughs>